come on, get your fix. Come tune in and get your fix of the culture. It's the fix. Come tune in and get your fix of the culture. Come and get your fix. Come tune in and get your fix of the culture. It's the fix. Come tune in and get your fix of the culture. Come and get your fix. Come on, get a fix of the culture. Come on, get your fix of the culture. Come and get your fix. Tap in. The Fix LA. Come, come, come get your fix of the culture. Welcome to the Fix, 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 fix. episode 20. We on a dub? Yeah. Dub. Wow, that's crazy. It's more if you count season one, but yeah, we on uh, the 20th episode. Yeah, that's we for sure more. Salute to us. We 30-something, 40-something if you count Oh, 35, one. 35. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did a lot of shows. How y'all doing today? We got a very, very special guest in the building, my brother, the Hood Foodie. Hey. hey. With us today, man. Feeling major special, in here. Special yeah, episode. Up, man? Yeah, man, uh, like I said er- earlier today, I uh, appreciate you guys for giving me a voice. Uh, you know, it means the world to me. I know, you know, t- Tony Jones, I've been rocking him, rocking with him for, you know, for a minute. So I'm definitely excited, you know, to, you know, to get the party started. Hey, hey, hey it's going to be a party today for sure. So yeah. this is special to me because that's one of my love languages. We appreciate it's everyone cool. tapping in on the live. Make sure you like, comment, and share the Fix LA YouTube Subscribe. page. All right. And let's get into uh, what you guys been listening to. What's been in your playlist? What you been jamming lately? Well, I started off, man. Um, it's tough, man. I I tried <laughs> not to listen to R and B, but I be trying to, you know, I be trying to listen to a lot of rap. But lately, it's been a lot of R and B, a lot of a lot of slow jams. Um, but it's been a lot of old school vibes, like a lot of Luther, Luther. um, a lot of uh, Bobby Womack. Oh, okay. you yeah, it that I'm way back. way back. You know, I got an old soul, so it's been some vibes like that recently. Um, I think. I got to check out uh, what, was, what was that artist that just put out a project? Uh, well, got a project coming out. Daniel Caesar, Daniel he got a project Caesar. coming out, but I've been listening to some of his old stuff too. So, just on new vibes. Nice. Now, is, I, that, is there like something to that? I mean, like you know, if, if it's R and B, is it like because the relationship wise, or what? What do you think it's taking it to, to, to that? I don't know, man. You know, like sometimes you be having a lot going on, and so when you listen to your music, you don't want your music to have a lot going on. So you kind of slow it down, just kind of mm-hmm. kind of mellow yourself you out. So this was been like a lot of sitting on the couch playing Madden with the slow jams bumping. Oh. Some podcasts going, maybe a candle lit or something. Okay. Oh. You know, just on some real <laughs> chill. Just on some real I chill. You know? I feel you. And yeah. it, for, y'all, for y'all that don't know, Keon's a real DJ. Keon has a really yeah. good DJ, so he knows his stuff. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that for sure. The Hood Foodie, what you been listening to, brother? You know what? Right now it's just, you know, Drake, man. Drake's mm. just picking hard. Can't know, go wrong. Just, I, we were just saying it, you know, it's just, it's relatable. 100%. You know, uh, from, you know, from my journey, that's, you know, that I feel is God's plan, you know, because we'll get into that in, in, in a bit, but, you know, uh, the whole, you know, losing friends and it's all good and we don't stop. And, you know, yeah, for me, honestly, like every time I wake up, I just like tell, uh, what is it, Siri? Like, hey, p- play some Dre and it just, it just, it starts to mo- the move. Have uh, you heard the new uh, the new single by Drake that was leaked? Uh, no, it's, I think it's officially now. It's official now. Search and rescue. Search and rescue. Yeah, that mug been that mug been really jamming. Uh, because it, it, I feel like it's a city boy song. Yeah. It's like please come, come please come get me out the streets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Deja vu. Um, it's about it's it's been consistent. Like I said last week, the '90s R and B, that's really been my vibe. I'll let Alexa, Siri, or mm-hmm. Pandora like. 90s R&B. That's just what I'm on. Like, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm just. Well, boo, now you say that. Uh, I've, been, I've been missing that, so I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fulfilling it with my 90s R&B. <laughs> I've been uh, I, I think I, I heard a song the other day, oh, and I thought of boo. Uh, funny. Silk. Somebody, See, was, somebody was playing some Silk. Nah, oh, it was some other songs from Silk, and I was like, I bet Vooby jamming these songs. See, I don't it, know other songs. What other songs? They got some. They songs. got they got some songs, okay. man. See, okay, so but that's what I'm saying. That's where I'm at. Yeah. The Silk, the Jodeci, the fucking like next, like the 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 groups that were around back then. Like yeah. I've been, that's been my vibe. The Case, nice. Faded oh, yeah, Pictures, case, Joe, yeah. LSG, yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah, '90s R&B. That, that's the love you want. If it ain't, if it don't feel like '90s R&B, I don't want it. Without getting too in depth, I think uh, I really like Marcus Houston and Avant back in the day. Avant, those are my that's what I'm Avant saying. Marcus Houston, yeah. Avant, like it was a vibe in the '90s. Like that shit was different. That yeah. was different. That's that's just been my vibe nice. still. Because it was it was our time, you know. Like it's, that's why you know. It's yeah. So hard. Yeah, I'm still in that vibe. <laughs> 
Right here with the mic, brother. We're going to make sure we hear sound. everything you're saying, brother. Because them, yes, them people are going to be, uh, I can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going to they sound off in the yeah. comments. Shout out to Cam Page. Cam Page, what up? So I've been jamming, uh, this sounds crazy, but I've been jamming my EP, uh, Where's the, Where's the Love? Yeah, for yeah. Shout sure. out to that. It comes out April. My heart is wasting. <laughs> it comes out April 22nd. Uh, there's four, three songs, one interlude, and two, like, you know, people talking. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to Ariel Valentine that's here that yes. couldn't have done these records without him starring Ariel. Stoff, Malone. So uh, really excited for that. I'm for still sure. jamming back on Dexter mixtape with DJ Drama by mm-hmm. Cash Doll. Okay. There's a song called Add It Up. Uh-oh. And she's talking I, big shit. She's talking, like, so, yeah. Vibes. And outside of Deja Vu, like, oh. when a... Uh, it's hard for a dude to relate to a female rapper because they're not, they're talking about different things, right? Mm-hmm. So there's few female rappers I can really like ride around to and like really yeah, feel what they're saying and add it up. Like it drops and he runs it back and I just, I'm singing along. Yeah. And I can't remember the last time I sung along like that, like relatable beside Deja Vu, like Nicki Minaj or, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the mixtape is super That's my goal dope. too because you have plenty of females that be, you know, quoting you know, niggas' lyrics, but yeah. it's not often that, and that'd be my goal. Like, I want niggas rapping my shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's hard. I love it. Shout out to Cash Dog. For sure. I'm back jamming uh, Watch the Throne. Uh-oh. I don't know how it popped up in my playlist, <laughs> but... Uh, no, they had some shit. It, that, oh, yeah. That album is nostalgic for me because of where I was in life and what was happening at that time. Like, yeah. it was an era for me. Shout out to DJ Goonie. Like, that time when we were, like, up all the parties, I was yeah. bartending, yeah. like, life was lit. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Let's get into uh, what you guys been watching on. I guess it's not Netflix, not Netflix, just Netflix. Hulu, or yeah. Star, whatever. Yeah. What now you, on on the streams, streams. Big now streams. on streams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what y'all been watching? Now Netflix. Um, I'm still on. So I, I started watching Beef, man. You know, y'all didn't hype me up on this show. Beef. Star hyped us up. <laughs> yeah, Star yeah. hyped us up. Miles I, got into it too. Shout out to yeah. Charismatic Jones. So I watched the first episode. I fell asleep. So I was like, <laughs> you know what? Let me try it again. So I watched episode one. I watched episode two. And like I said, third episode, I was like, I'm over it. I'm Ooh. over it. No, so I didn't even finish it. Should have brought I, my I, fan. I get you. I get you. Because I, I did, in the beginning, I, I, I started watching Beef. And yeah. I, I was kind of snoozing off. Yeah. But then, I don't know, I got kind of like got into it and like the whole... Uh, plot of it and yeah, mm-hmm. it's, I, 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 it's 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 a little bit entertaining and uh, yeah. I, 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 you know, it, it's either you love it or you hate it. Right, right. So, yeah. right. so I'm a hype beast when it comes to shows and movies. Like it got to be really buzzing. People really got to be talking about it for me to get into it. Yeah. Someone had mentioned it to me and I was like, nah. Right. Then Star Y'all mentioned it to me. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay. Then it was number one on Netflix yeah. top ten shows. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna tap in. I was trying to kill time until I got to the uh, Love Is Blind season finale, and. Yeah, I only got seven minutes in, bro. I couldn't get jiggy. Dang. Couldn't get Damn. jiggy. Damn. Bro, listen. I, I, like, Damn. I'm watching the show, and I'm like, I don't understand how someone is going to continue to keep going back yeah. to something that happened. Oh, and trying. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was like I feel like they was forcing yeah. this storyline. I was like, I don't know if I can rock with it. But yeah. from what I've heard, I've had people finish it. They said it's wild. It, so it looks like, like a, it looks like a it series? could be good. It's a series. Yeah, it's like I mean, 10 episodes, I think. Oh, okay. It's shot and directed great. Like, the yeah. intro was dope, right. but I just, I, I'm going to try it again. I just yeah. couldn't get jiggy. You know I'm a sci-fi a guy. Say he loves sci-fi, beef. action, all that. So I need to have. He don't want no sci-fi. Yeah, no, I need, I need to have something popping off. This wasn't it for me. You mentioned your shows? My shows, I'm still in, I'm still catching up on Bel Air. Okay. Stall me out. I'm behind. You know, I don't get <laughs> much TV time in life. <laughs> they stall me I out. live a different life. Than y'all, but I, I'm I'm on Bel Air. Me and Baby, that's our some of our little cutesy time. Nice. We, we watching Bel Air. I heard Bel Air's good. What about you, Hood Foodie? Uh, I be, you know I, I watch a lot of uh, narco shows. I, I I watch uh you know like Chapo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like drug shows as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's oh, interesting. RuPaul. I mean, I, I just it varies, man. It just depends, you know, the vibe. Yeah. You, know, uh, uh, you said RuPaul? Love, love Island, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. cool. I, I, no, I, I, no, I, I, you I, said it kind of fast. I, I was like... Wait, well, you know, speaking I thought, of, I speaking I of drug shows, I've been into... Um, what's the show where they be, like, trying to uh, crack the cases on, like, deaths, celebrity deaths that just recently... Cold case? Co- it's something. Monica uh, is, like, the host. Oh, I haven't seen that. It's called... Um, I'm so mad, but it's the show where they like speak on like celebrities that have died that cases never been solved. I mean, no, I don't know about I that. Def- I, can't, I can't believe I don't remember the name. Mm-hmm. I gotta look it up. But yeah, I love the shows like Orig- American Gangster where they yeah, like, yeah, me too. They, they have the season now where it's all women. Oh, really? Like the biggest ah. like. 
celebrity true crime. So go. I've been into celebrity true crime. Monica is the host. The last episode they were speaking on um who who the um um Jam Master J mm -hmm. and how his how, like what happened. Yeah. The next episode was another um, artist. I don't. I didn't know him person. I mean, I didn't know him, but it was like. But they speak on like yeah, celebrity happened? deaths and yeah. you know them being unsolved and yeah. the whole. That's been really interesting. And one then second. the one on BET, uh, like I stuff. think, is the original gangster or something like that, American gangster or something. But this season is like the female like kingpins yeah. and the ones who was like she was like a. Um, Real estate agent, but she wasn't really a real estate agent. Oh, wow. She Jeez. made millions as one, like, and she was like that kind of shit got me. Yeah, get my 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 wheels rolling. <laughs> she, I'm thinking. I'm no, thinking. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it. No. Um, I'm into them crime type shows too. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Snowfall has one more sh uh -oh. episode, and I it's done up. forever. Yeah. Um, if you like drug shows, you should watch that show. Okay. Snowfall on on FX, but Hulu is yeah. an amazing show. Um, Saint. Is killing it. I'm just super excited for the finish. One more episode left, and it comes out, I believe, this Wednesday. So, so speaking of one more episode, now, nah, Tony, oh. you was hyping up this show, <laughs> man. You was all in love saying, I got to wait to find out who's going to be married. I got one episode oh, left. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, love is Blind. Yeah. So, Love is Blind had their live, what was that, live reunion show yesterday. It was supposed to be a live reunion show. But it was a show that never happened. It didn't happen. What? But would you expect it to happen? It's a, It's a... It's on demand, and you're trying to do your first, I believe, live episode, if I'm not, yeah? yeah I, th I think this one? is the first, like, TV show-ish that's live, because they did, the, remember they did the Chris Rock uh, stand-up? It was live. Oh, okay. It, so, that, like, I guess oh. it was that first one, so this, so it'll be like their second, to start they, the way. Somebody dropped the ball. We was all tuned in. They got the error message. Waiting for it, and the error message kept popping up. It kept loading. Then I hit my friend like, yo, what's going on? She was like, yeah, they're having technical difficulties. Oh, no. Wow. So long story short, they just put it out today, like 24 hours later. So so I know somebody. Uh, so basically, apparently it was regional. So some uh, places it worked, some places it didn't. Uh, so I know some people who watched it on TikTok. Shut the um, fuck up. So oh, wow. like some guy in New York had it on his TikTok, and uh, he was like streaming it. People just watching on TikTok. Wow. I, but what sucks about that is I know people here were trying to have like watch parties. Yeah, yeah I know some people sure. who had watch parties. Yeah. But and it made me think of y'all because y'all into it. But it were people trying to have watch parties for that show. So for those people yeah. that were here and couldn't get it, yeah. that's fucked up. Still never seen it. But I'm gonna watch it tonight when I leave here. I'm going home right to get it. I haven't on. either. But he be making me yeah. want to get into it. Man, and now I could binge watch it because it's already like ran through. Yeah. Every yeah. every time I like go out. And it's like a group of people. That's the first thing they're talking about. See? Have you been watching Love is Blind? Sure. So it's the conversation started. You oh, gotta be in, man. You gotta, we gotta to catch be in the Now, the finale was amazing. Um, it came out the 14th. Mm -hmm. And I won't tell you how many people actually got married, mm -hmm. but it's more than the other uh, seasons. So, what? wow. Yeah, I, I love, love that love. show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get into <laughs> it just for the fact that I just love love. No, I love that show. So, awesome. um, The Hood Foodie, my Talk brother. Talk about him. I asked you what your title was, food connoisseur, man of God. We don't know, right? We can't, we can't put a title on greatness, right? Aww. But the hood foodie <laughs> is my brother. We've known each other for a long time. And we have been friends for years now. Wow. We had the same barber at one point. Um, what I will say about the hood foodie is he's very supportive Aww. as a friend, and he has supported me in all my endeavors, businesses. Wow. He has the jacket he has on I made. Wow. And he has what three now? Did he have it? Mistaken? Did he come to one of your B day birthday dinners? He's been to my now check this out. Because I, I he's thought been I to recognize you. He's Go been ahead. to multiple yeah. birthdays. Yeah. He's been to multiple events. And me personally, y'all know I'm a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm terrible. I want to apologize here on live to my brother, the hood foodie, because I missed his gala. Not I missed gala. an event he did two days ago and I told him I was coming. Wow. And I've been a bad friend, so I have not reciprocated the love and support that he's shown me. So I want to apologize for that, first oh, and yeah. foremost, on this show. And I hope that I can make it up to you, because since you've been so supportive, uh -oh. Uh -oh. my brother, oh, no. your next custom's on me. What? what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, poor jacket loader. Okay, wait, let me jump in real quick, because y'all don't know what these mean. These Dang. are like golden tickets. Yeah. 
If you get one of these, it's like finding a fucking Damn. golden ticket yeah, in yeah. your Willy Wonka chocolate yeah. bar. Ariel brought one. Shout out to today. Ariel. He's, he's he actually his. getting his. What, what's the word? You cashing in on yours today? <laughs> That's um, awesome. I plan on wearing mine this month for left eye. Yeah, I just want to make excited. sure, like you knew, I appreciate your friendship and appreciate you as a brother. And even though, like, I haven't shown the reciprocated the love, <laughs> it's still there. And hopefully that makes up for my shortcomings this past efforts. year. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah but wow. you know, it's it's uh, like I tell everybody, man, don't never be apologetic for doing you, dog. Like yeah. nobody's gonna have your best interest if if you can't make it out. I, I know, I know for a fact that you know you're doing something else that's gonna benefit you. So not, never, never be apologetic mm-hmm. for being doing you. Those are. Um, you know, uh, yeah, you know, I I, I met Tony, uh, you know, at a barber shop, yeah. and you know. You guys know Tony. When he walks in, he walk he walks in like God sends him, and and I, you know, I, it was like it was the the, the light was very shiny, yeah. and you know, I heard his story, very you know, very inspirational, you know, uh, and then I was like, you know what, I, I was trying to put together my brand, and I was like, you know, I, I want to see what you can do with my brand, yeah, and he's like, okay, give give me your social media, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. After that, I didn't, I I said he, I, I think he was asking me like, oh, what do you want? I'm like, bro, just do your thing. You're the master yeah. of your, w- what you do. Like, do you? And I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cherish it because yeah. I know you're gonna put your passion in, into that. And I'm gonna tell you, man. Like, damn. Like, he, he hit it on point. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, all my, all my sayings. You know, like, familia, dream big, God's plan. Like, I, I the dude, the dude, his, he did his homework. I didn't say nothing. I didn't tell him nothing. Be creative, and, man. Like I said, this is my third yes. jacket because that's how much I believe in you. Yeah, thank you. So you know, like, nah, man. Thank, thank you for your friendship. Thank you for believing mm. me. I mean, just for you to have me here, with, you know, to give me a voice. I mean, that that shit means the world to me. Like, you know, because you know, you're giving me something that you don't, you guys don't need to give me, but you are. So you know, uh, and, and like you said, you know. I mean, you only you want to rock with people that want that that you know. What 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 I took from that is that you're very grateful. Yes, she is. So just just like me, I, I feel like we're kind of all in the same frequency, right. you know, as far as like the universe, God's plan, and this yes. and that. And and it just, at this point, it's like I'm blessed. Like every time, yeah. everybody people ask me like, oh yeah, you know, how are you doing? I'm I'm blessed. I mean, do I go through shit? Yeah. yeah. I'm human. Yeah. Right. But I just don't stop. And 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 by by me being, you know, by by God taking care of, care, care of me so much, it's it's only fair that I put my part and I I will get into it, but yeah, I, I apparently like I'm 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 uplifting communities, yes. inspiring people, mentoring like and like I said, like who's coming with us. So, yeah. what's your what's your favorite part about being the hood foodie, man? The love the love you get is, is love from the restaurants or love from like the people both so he goes and i'll try to <laughs> explain what he does but he'll go and i don't want to call it a review yeah but he'll ch- you know he'll try your food he'll check out your restaurant yeah and he'll give his honest opinion on it and um i've seen him like literally transform the businesses wow. because once he posts a review or he says hey everyone go check this out they'll mm-hmm. go and oh shit there was a business what was the name of it that was going under uh, shit, there was, damn, there's a ton of them. I mean, <laughs> what? What, I'm I mean, sure it wasn't just one time. There's one, what, what, one that we, that we have a connection, for example, you know, I know Mariscos Corona, yeah. you know, he had reached out to me, uh, apparently he had reached out to a bunch of influencers in the past and yeah. like nobody responded and it, it, so it seems like I'm always the one that like responds to the yeah. ones that don't get responded yeah. to. And then I show up, and after that, like you know, every like all the people that he hit up, like apparently now they wanted to come yeah. through, and oh, shit. now the dude's like looking for a second location because he's oh, like, wow, that's hard. Like, but I mean, you know, but, and like I want to say, like I, you know, I mean, there's you know, not that I, I'm I'm the only one. I mean, there's a lot of people that you know that that supported him and things mm-hmm. like that, but. I mean, he, you know, he told me that that was kind of like the story. We're like, damn, bro, yeah. like you, 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 like you don't understand like what you did for me, and yeah. and, and, wow. and it's like, you know, and I, and that's not the first time I've heard it. I've heard it from several times, and yeah. that's why I, I tell you guys, like, dude, I don't know how far I, I've gotten yeah. because, yeah. you know, I'm not, I'm not into the analytics. I'm not into yeah. the big numbers. Right. I've never looked into that. I, you just being you, man. The hood footy found me. Yeah, mm. when I hit that's rock super bottom. Dope. That's super dope. So, so when it comes down to you know reviewing places and you know meeting with these restaurants and stuff like that, man, like 
or I know other people are doing this as well. So do y'all have like a group chat that y'all all link up like, <laughs> hey, y'all go check this spot out or hey, we're going to check. Or like, have you met some of these other food uh, reviewers? Do y'all like know each other? Y'all cool? Is it like food reviewer beef? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, in, in every, in every, everywhere you're going to see everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, any industry, it, you see, you you're get to see the, the, the good, right. the bad, and the ugly. Right. Now, I started, you know, so I started posting when Instagram was be beginning. Yeah. And at the time, like, you know, the only people that were getting showcased was people with money because everybody was using it as a marketing tool. Ah, I got you. So, like I said, once I hit my rock bottom that I, you know, I stopped drinking because, uh, I mean, I was just tired at that yeah. point. Mm -hmm. You know, at 36, uh, started taking meds, you know, everything in the box hit me because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I was diagnosed with bipolar depression. Mm -hmm. Uh, suicidal, uh, mm. depressed. I ended up in the Mission Community Hospital in the hood of Panorama City mm -hmm. on a 51 52 hold. Wow. wow. And uh, all they were doing was just feeding me more meds. Just drugging you up. Yeah, and I was like, what? This, this is what's causing it. Why do they keep giving this and giving yeah. it to me? So, key to blue in the building, exactly. So, once I get out of there, I'm like, that's it, that's it. I'm stopping the medication. I was depressed, and like I said, I feel like. I kind of wanted to get get away from what I had just experienced and do something different. Yeah, do something, something different. So what happens? I start you know posting pictures in my hood of the eight one eight, get kicked out to L A, mm -hmm. the mecca of the foodie world. Yes, mm -hmm. we start blowing shit up out there. Wow, and now it's like you know because God God talks to me. Yeah. And he tells me like that we were part of the movement that pushed you know uh, you know mom and pop shops on Instagram right wow. because now what that kiddo doesn't get showcased bro all of them literally all of them yeah we were we were in, we were the beginning stages of that like he you know like and what am I what I mean we I will not I would never be here if it wasn't for the people that believed in me. So what is what is your tribe called? Like all the people who support familia. the familia. familia. So what is one of the the most uh, I would say most memorable places that you've reviewed? Well, I like that. Oh man, there's there's I mean there's what's the one that's like you remember it that out. was like like you just like okay I want to do this. You know, like I gotta give credit with credit is due and something that hits hard. Like for example. Doctor uh, Doctor Hogley Wogley's Texas Tyler Barbecue. Wow, that's a oh. lot. That's in LA. What? That's crazy. That's yeah, in LA. Where is that? No, it's a, it's in the valley. What what is oh, it called? Okay. Uh, what what, what the valley's LA to me? Yeah, so people I'm not from people here. Like, they it's they'll not say LA. it's Panorama City or Van Nuys. So I don't want to definitely not LA by. guys. For yeah. But no, so it's, it's right there on uh, Roscoe and uh, Sepulveda. Oh, okay. That's okay. the valley. It's not LA. Yeah, yeah that's it. the valley. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. I will say there. every place that he's recommended that I have tried, I've just been blown away by the food. <laughs> well, that just. Well, hold on. Let's, let's go back to this place he's yeah. talking about. Cause yeah. I heard Texas in the name and I heard barbecue. Me too. Oh, no. I was like, where's that? <laughs> okay. Right. Hey, hey, so trip out on this, right? So, growing up, you know, I that our go-to was a three-way combo, but the brisket for me there. Uh -oh. Oh, uh oh man. They got so so I oh dude, brisket. see what I'm saying? Some, some I'm trying to get find out more. Some of some of my favorite brisket. But 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 the way it's the way that you prepare it. Oh, yeah, right, okay, right, okay. right. Because yeah. you got to get the bite. So you know they, they they serve you the they serve you the brisket with you know barbecue juices. Yeah. They give you a little loaf of bread. You yeah. butter yes. it up. Yeah. You know when, once it's nice and warm. Right. You get your uh, fork ready. You get into the the brisket. Yeah. You dip it into the baked beans. Oh macaroni salad. Oh my god! Salad. Oh my god. Yeah. Then you grab the little loaf of bread That's and you dip fire. it into the yeah. sauces of the brisket. You know it. You know it. That's fire. This is like talking okay. nice to me. It's like talking dirty to me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's what it. Exactly. Make sure you you take a wear, uh, like you know, an extra uh, pair of underwears because that, that's, <laughs> that's how orgasmic. you know. Orgasmic. Uh, you said this is Doctor Wiggly Bigly Wiggly Texas, Texas Barbecue. Doctor Hoggly's Wogglies Texas Tyler Barbecue. And he said okay. Roscoe and Sepulveda. Yeah, I'm there, there tomorrow. I live yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but you know what hits harder? Yeah. Oh, there's one that they're, what? that they're the first and only shop that has my picture up in their under. Wow. So oh, wait a minute. So you didn't. So you didn't went to all picture. these places, changed all these restaurants, <laughs> and then none of them put your picture on the wall, man. But other than yeah. this, other one? than this one. But nah. see, for, like, for we me, gonna change that. Yeah, like, no, no, I mean, I, no, cool. I can take the punches. Nah, we got, we got to We I can take the punches. We, I'm gonna like, start. I'm gonna like, start like, mailing out eight by tens to these restaurants. Put this picture up. Eight by tens. Yo, when I tell you, like, amongst the many restaurants, there was one that was like bankrupt. The owner went on live. He was crying. Yeah. Oh. Long story that, short, okay. that one. Yeah. Okay, News so yeah, was out yeah, there. yeah. So, so that one actually, some one of my well, 
at the time, you know, it was it was uh, somebody reached out to me from Long Beach because there was a restaurant that the the dude came out on video yeah. saying like you know he only had like fifty bucks in his cash register yep. wow. and he didn't have enough money wow. to pay his employees. Wow! So, somebody hit me up. I posted it in the in the in the in the in the morning. Mm -hmm. Shit must have gone viral because mm -hmm. then uh, even uh, Andrew Andrew grew. So I didn't know who he was at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the dude, I, like, he messages me, like, nothing. Like, hey, bro, like, I'm going to try to raise, like, $10,000. And, wow. you know, like, you know, and we're going to come and, and donate yeah. it. So I'm like, damn, like, who's this dude? Like, I'm yeah. going to stay, I'm going to try to stay to see yeah. who, he, who he is. Because right. I respect this dude. Right. So uh, so he's the owner of, Slap, like, Slapfish. And I think he has, like, maybe over 20 restaurants. Oh, yeah. I rock with Slapfish, especially at uh -oh. LAX. Shout out okay, to uh, so, Slapfish LAX. Yo, when I tell okay. you that the news <laughs> went, when I tell you it was all over the news, <laughs> really? it was packed, Damn. changed that business, turned them around. Now they're very, very profitable. One of the most popular restaurants. Wow. All the newscasters yeah. were out there. What was the name of this place? Uh, what was it? Oh, man. I, uh... Yeah, that was. We got, that we got, we gonna look it up. Yeah, we 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 gonna we gonna figure this out. We don't take credit for God's work, but the hood footy shed a light <laughs> and vessel, the man. community you, supported it. You know what's a trip that like there is a kid a reporter that from from Long Beach. Uh, he was Asian. Yeah. And he came up to me. Everybody, you know, everybody yeah. was kind of doing their thing, blah blah blah. But he came up to me and he was like, you know what? Uh, I feel like you 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 were you were the one that made this shit happen. Wow. Right. Because so you I'm reposted thinking, it like, first. Yeah, so I'm thinking like he didn't have to tell me that. Right, right, yeah. right. Then who's telling me that? Right. Mm. Like, cause the dude like came out of nowhere. Yeah. Somebody passed the message to you. He's man. like, he I told you that too. I was like, yo, you you did that <laughs> business a favor. Obviously, God working through you, but you turned the business around. So, man, that's super dope. So, I kinda, la I kinda, oh no, go ahead. I want to play devil's advocate. I, about so say, I got one last question on something Act, separate. No, go ahead. All right, so last question, man, I got for you. <laughs> Some, Bring on. Somebody comes from out of town. They hear about the L.A. food scene. They hear how L.A. is the mecca of food. Um, give me three places uh -oh. where they should go. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But they have to go. Damn. That, that they, like, if you recommend they come, they're coming from out of town, man. They want to see what L.A. got. What's the three best places you got? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Damn. Well, breakfast. It's uh, a great question. The break, uh, Breakfast Club in Hollywood. Breakfast Club in Hollywood. Oh. We all yeah. take notes. Oh, um, yeah. hey, man, hey, 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 you could either go with regular bacon or pork belly bacon. That's mm. crazy. That's Free unhealthy. Fuego one. Familia. Oh, what boy. Uh, that boy started talking about Hollywood. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, what is it? Right? Yeah, it's, uh, what is it? Uh, Sunset Street? What about for lunch? For lunch, uh, well, I would say brunch, like brunch, lunch. Yeah. Uh, brunch is breakfast, but go ahead. Yeah. yeah, br yeah. Brunch, yeah. lunch. <laughs> Carnitas normally come out of like, you know, Morelia, like, what you know, all these other places. But this one definitely hits home because it's uh, from Sal uh, Salamanca, Guanajuato, mm -hmm. which was the city that I actually grew up with. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. G uh, grew up in, fr in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And these these guys are Carnitas, estilo... Uh, uh, you know, Salamanca, Guanajuato. What's the name of the restaurant? Carnitas El Momo. But, but if you're going to go, you got to go to the Boyle Heights location, the original location, because the grandmas are in the back mm. cooking in the mm. casa. What? And it, they're fresh. Abuela? That's dope. And you got to go with the Carnitas Mixta. Okay. So mm. that's basically everything, like cuaritos, you know. I want to be a part know. of this team. <laughs> right. What about, uh, what you got for dinner? For dinner... Oh man, you know, well, you know, I, I, I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta give credit where credit is due. You know, I've tried so many foods, it, you know, all over, all over the U.S. and, uh, you know, I gotta, I got my, my lady man, she, she gets down. Like, she so Miss, she, Miss Hood foodie. Be oh no, man. she, okay. she. And, and you know sometimes Wait, I feel you like picking she, your wife of all the restaurants. Oh, I mean, we? salute, well, but no, hey, no, because but what, what, yeah. what, did, what did I tell you? Like one of you know it it. It hits when you know when you're able to eat something. Yeah. And like right after, I'm like, damn, that's it's good. Me. It's yeah. good. Awesome. Like you know, good. Like, and and something with her, with her, it's like simplicity. Wow. Like it could be like a little like you know sopa, but yeah. damn, this shit hits hard. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but uh, man, for dinner, for dinner, well, there's a bunch of ta you know the, the tacos, uh, you know nightstands that you know we can support. Yeah. Uh, I like to, one you know, restaurant. 
Just Brother. we need we need we need <laughs> for dinner. They coming from out of town. <laughs> they don't know everything. Some oh, it's just, all right, that's one tough. restaurant. That's tough to give one. I know you don't like to play favorites, but because, one restaurant. Because because honestly, I know there's like different occasions. You got different restaurants. Right, yeah, but different. this is just a tour. You know, tourists from out of town. Something they just gotta try. Yeah, for you, one night, I gotta get dinner. Where should I go? The be, give me the best place, please. What what place is that? Oh, geez, what, what, I'm thinking. What what? what well, you know what? Uh, have you guys ever had toppers? No, what uh, is that? What? Uh, I don't know what that really? is. Topper's uh, pizza? No. no. Oh, damn. And I'm a pizza I, I'm oh, a pizza yeah. connoisseur, so uh, I got to What is it? In. The Hawaiian Fuego. You know, I've never... So these three places, I've heard of <laughs> Breakfast Club, I haven't heard of Carnitas, El Momo, and Toppers. Uh-oh. Would you put? Battery. Would you put these three on your Mount Rushmore top four restaurants in L.A.? Which means your favorite four in LA. Would any of these make that list? No, you know what? I, I can't really say that because I'm gonna tell you one thing. I've been, I've been, you know, supporting all these small. I mean, and I'm talking about a ton of of, yeah. of, of small businesses. So I mean, just you know, to 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 close that off, like you know, like I mean, I just I just really love you know food when it's served with, with love. Yeah, right, right. Because you, like, like, you, ta- you, you taste it. You taste. It's a difference. It's a difference. Like you know, you yeah. can tell. Like yeah, you know what? Like. You know this business, like you could tell they they put they're, they're all into it because you you can taste the you know right. love, sweat, and tears. All right. So I'm gonna run through mine, and then we're gonna I got a couple more questions for you. <laughs> your um, questions or your food, your restaurants? Both. So, oh. so all right. So Tony, you're gonna give us your top four favorite places to eat in L.A. Wait, top four? That's I, Mount Rushmore. I, 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 chat, group chat, yeah, I can't do four, but I'll tell you that <laughs> this list was very quick. <laughs> oh, um, mine wasn't. So my four places are y'all know I love stout. I 100% yes. love style. I, I see it all the time, yep. I had always a hope, always posting that. I had a 20% <laughs> loyalty card. We got to work that out. Style owner, please hit me up. He actually did me. They, <laughs> yeah. they took it. They said, it's no, don't work no more. And then he tried to give me a new one. Anyway, Stout's the best burger I've had in my entire life. Over in and out over Fat Burger, over anybody up. in the entire world. Stout makes the best burgers in the entire world. And you Damn. pair it with a <laughs> with a great beer. And they got like 20, 25 options. Stout. Is number one in the world. Let's That's take my, a hold on. He now, ain't, you now ain't I been know, around the world. I know you saying Stout got good burgers, yeah. but you sleep. Stout's fries Stout's are fries the are best fries I have ever yeah, had. Stout. They put some type of sauce on these fries. Yeah. We gotta bro. Some of that special sauce. Oh, man, <laughs> that <laughs> mug good, okay. man. My number two is uh, Paradise Ice Cream oh, yeah. in Sherman Oaks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, yeah. It's, right. the best, well. it's the best ice cream I've <laughs> ever had. And yeah. I'm not just saying this because I love these places. <laughs> they have vegan options for your boy over here for, for everybody. Karis Mae Jones. But the, Keep in mind that Tony Jones is very... Uh, Health conscious when it comes to food. I'm many lactose intolerant. Re- yeah. Many restrictions. So these are all based on like people Super who have dairy free or regular ice cream is the best ice cream I've ever tried in my entire life. It's fresh every day. Please go check out Paradise and Sherman Oaks. Number mm-hmm. three is Cineholic in oh. Silver Lake. They're oh, dairy free cinnamon rolls. Obviously, it hits what? a little home Damn. for me because oh. I can't have dairy, Damn. but they wow. taste better than original cinnamon rolls. Wow. Yeah. But they got like. Cheesecake, cinnamon rolls, s'mores, chocolate, Dang. double chocolate. And you haven't taken me to any of these places. I feel <laughs> What is that? Cinemaholics? Cinemaholics. Cinemaholics. It's like gourmet away. cinnamon rolls, but they're dairy free. I feel a way. Go I check them the out. Away. Me and the hood foodie going to slide by. Oh, 100%. About it. The fourth place I had to put was uh, <laughs> is when I first got to LA in 2013, and I had never had a serving of lobster like this. And lobster is my favorite food uh, ever by far. I got two big lobster tails, mm-hmm. and it filled me up. That's how big they were. Wow. Damn. Um, so Crustacean in Beverly Hills. Oh, of course. Is, uh, it's a vibe as well. It's up there because lobster is my favorite food and because they don't, they're not stingy with the lobster tails. Charismatic Jones said Blue Bell ice cream. Said, Thank you. That's my guy. <laughs> that's not uh, even a restaurant. That's a wild hold answer. Hold on, hold anyway. on. Whipped L.A., over there near Hollywood, not even, not close. is one of the Listen. only places in L.A. that has Blue Bell. They Listen. get a shipment every Tuesday. Shot to whip LA. I'm Fire. sorry, nothing is tr- is trumping Thrifty's ice cream. Listen, bro, Ooh. Blue Bell. If you're from Texas, if you're from the South, See, you know by Blue LA, Bell. LA so we gonna stand on that. <laughs> hey, best Blue Bell flavor right now is I love cereal. Just oh my God! I'm just saying all these places that y'all named that y'all haven't given me or Man. took me to, I feel away. Man. I have a question go for Hood Foodie, and I'm gonna go ahead and list my four times four list. Go ahead. <laughs> like that. <laughs> My four times four, because you know I'm never, I never follow the rules. Um, I have a question: mm-hmm. of all these places that you have reviewed, tried out, like, have you ever had like high expectations for a place and you went and it was just 
horrible. If you did, he's not going to say it. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, really? Yeah, since I think since the beginning, like from a small following, people were already reaching out to me. So, you know, like I said, these people yeah. were already like serving, you know, serving plates with love. Yeah. So every place you've been satisfied. They've been, they've been hitting. I mean, I, yeah, I just, you know, I mean, have I had like a really, really bad Play? No. Or experience? No. Experience, yes. I mean, the other day I tried to do like a mug band in Puerto Vallarta where like they served us this big old fish and I just like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, what's up, familia? I just took it like, oh, I'm going to do a video. And I just popped the eyeball out and I put, I threw it in my mouth, not knowing that the, the textures, because if you guys yeah. have ever, ever it's tried different. It, I, yeah, oh, no. It's different. I tripped out. I started gagging because <laughs> once I bit it, that shit felt like it had a bone inside. Oh, oh my god! So I was like, I was like, uh, <laughs> oh no, it's on video. It's on, I have it on. It's on my page. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, now, now, like you know, like I said, I don't know how I got into the foodie game because growing up, I was such a picky eater. Yeah. Wow. That's and interesting. I don't, and I don't know how to cook. What? Wow. Same, exactly. brother. Same. Exactly. Yeah, you. So, so one of my dream jobs have been to like be a food critic because I love Let's food. Like yeah. I'm such a foodie. I'm <laughs> like I'm into food porn. I know it sounds crazy. Oh, my, no, I, I feel you. my friends out there who know me know like <laughs> if you tell me you cooked last night or yeah. this morning and you didn't send me a picture of your plate, it like don't count. I feel away. Yeah. No, I'm offended. I, I'm, oh, wow. I'm like I'm mad at you for not sending me like. Ooh, was it good? What it like? Send me a plate. Yeah, like, I, I need feel, to see I, that. That's a big thing for me. My <laughs> my Rushmore yeah. is like. Can we get the AC? Yeah? It's a yeah. I'm 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 burning up over here. Okay, of course I'm an LA Inglewood girl, so I have some spots that are just you know. Okay. Talk staples, to us. but Talk then to I us. have people that I know personally who have restaurants, and I'm. You could say I'm biased, but the food actually is like Please. working. Okay. <laughs> um, I have Roscoe's. Okay, I respect that. Of course, that. Of course. I'm gonna have Ros- Roscoe's. Yes. I like that. The flavor table. I never heard of that. Never heard of that. Mm. Write it down. The flavor table. Okay. Flavor table. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm always gonna be loyal to Fat Burger. Okay. I'm sorry. Fat Burger is always gonna get me in and out. Fat Burger. Fat Burger every time. In and pickles, the better. relish. I fucking love it. Both trash. Um. Ooh, watch your mouth. Taco <laughs> Mail. The be- wait. The best In and Out I've been to is in Austin, by the way. Wow. But I, be- I believe they would have some damn good in and out. Hey. Taco oh. Mail. Oh, yeah, yeah, Taco yeah. Mail. Taco Mail, that Taco three-meat burrito. You can't – Taco Mail, the whole f- uh, food, Taco the manati, like, they get it. Um, that was four. I'm not done. You know The Court got- Cafe. <laughs> you talking about brunch. You talking about, like – the Court Cafe, I got to give the, fu- the the Court Cafe. The Blue Kitchen, okay. I'm sure I got to shout at them out. <laughs> um, the Court Cafe, I said them, Black House. That's eight. Black House. <laughs> she ran it they up They have nine. an awesome <laughs> Southern style. They have brunch. They have dinner. They have everything. I, I love Black House. I got to shout them out. Fiesta Martin. Man, how many That's in Inglewood. Hey, I There's heard of them. two locations. I heard they good. I order it here. I've, I've Uber <laughs> Eats like Fiesta Martin. I love their enchilada <laughs> plate. Fiesta Martin, I fucking love them. The Wood, they're on Market Street. Barbecue, brisket is Ooh. everything. I'm keep, I'm gonna keep hey, going. I said my the, trap, the, top 10. the Trap Kitchen, my boy Spank, like they got that shit <laughs> on lock. They have multiple locations. They food is everything. The Pineapple Bowl, they just started from the bottom and they still here. Uh, right. King Taco. King I fucking Taco's love really King Taco. No. They have a million locations, I don't know what that is. but Taco. I love fucking King Taco. Like I get the asada burrito, I get the queso. The stuff you like. I fucking you love them. Great- I love okay. them. Okay, <laughs> fixings. The fixings. Oh, uh, down there in LA. In, I mean, LA by Live. LA Live. Oh LA Live. my gosh! Listen, the fixings from their drinks to their food, the fixings, everything, <laughs> everything at the fixings is is. Everything. I'm sorry, I got two more. Mo Better Burgers. <laughs> Mo Better Burgers. They burgers are everything. What is and it? I have to I have to add Soul Food Shack. They're Ooh. on Market Street as well. Thank you for the yeah. list. We really appreciate yeah, it. That's she, my four time four. I told you my Mount Rushmore <laughs> gonna be long. I don't follow the rules. Fuck y'all. Got a couple more questions for you, brother. Yes, let's get to it. Uh quickly. <laughs> um, what is your favorite food? Uh would have to say Mexican. I mean, you know, but <laughs> but I mean there's you know, Calditos de Res, there's uh but you know what? The, recently, I came across uh, like oxtail. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Good, right? Damn. Not recently. Mexican is one of my favorite foods. I, I'll, <laughs> give you, I'll give you some spots to check out, bro. Shout out to Stew and Tings. Stew and Tings with the oxtails. Yeah. Stewing the yeah. jerk yeah. spot. Yes, they do jerk. No, Good. but I mean, because I've come across, you know, some some uh, 
some uh, ox tails ox tail good. where there's not a lot of meat. Yeah, like that, you gotta find the right place where like I, I've been to meat. places where they they stack that shit up. Yeah, like they'll give you know, but but yeah, most of the places I've been to like for some reason like they're very like they they don't have too much meat for some reason. Yeah, I mean it just depends on where they're getting it from. Yeah. It's kind of hard. Okay. You, okay. you ever seen them make ox tails? You ever seen when you see when you have see you them make it, you understand why it's not oh, a lot of okay, meat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got a random question for you: oatmeal cream pies or zebra cakes? I mean, oatmeal or what? Oatmeal cream. I've never heard of them. <laughs> I was at the other spot. Some hood, them the hood snacks. What What's you know your about? favorite album of all time? Ah, oh, damn. Uh, damn. Get some music from you. I mean, you know, uh, Beastie Boys, License hey. to Ill, uh, and and I'm, uh, it, that's just nostalgia because you know when we came back from Mexico to the U.S., like you know, my brother got into like the whole '80s and that air. That he once he bought that album, man, it, he played it and played it and it, like every song, like I just uh, it just stuck, like you know, so. I think that's kind of like one of the albums where I, I can just listen and listen to most of the album. Man. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. What's your proudest moment as a man? Oh, damn. Getting deep. That boy said, I Learn, need to Learning to love myself. Oh. Wow. oh. Because now, as you guys can see, I can love others. Yeah. Mm. You got to start with yourself. And, and, and this, this, this taught me. This, this, like I said, the hood footy found me mm. at a time where I was, I was in the, uh, my rock bottom. Mm. And then, you know, by people believing in me, liking, posting, that shit. Like I said, it, it, it's like when we're crawling to walk. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are the aunts and uncles? Oh, Pepito, get up, get up. It's the encouragement. So I, I, that's why I want to make sure that my familia, right, yeah. mm -hmm. understands how impactful they are with my journey because I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for my familia. Because, 100%. like I said, people that believe in me, only inspire me to fucking dream big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I'm not supposed to be here. I barely graduated high school. Yeah. I'm all fucked up. Like, you know, like, but, you know, the, the uh, how, how I was saying it's like, this is not about food. Food is a platform. Right, right. right. But God has given me a second chance, a chance at yes. life. Man, like, that's the win. Like, I got, I got, we just launched a world tour. We're working with the biggest brands in the world. I got, I got TV, I got my, my people and TV producers hitting me up. Like, yep. Wow. You got what TV wants. So, sure. so speak. So, wow. speaking of that, and I'm glad you said that world tour. Now, we've been saying top four for LA. <laughs> with, with, with all the places you've been across the country, <laughs> what are four of your favorite places Damn. across the country? <laughs> wow. Damn. Yeah, I haven't been that far, but uh, <laughs> now you know what. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough question, bro. I feel like I feel like he got it. Okay. No, no. I mean, yeah, there, there's a few. I mean, name one. If they happen to be in LA, that's oh, cool. Boy. Okay. Okay. What, one of one of the most memorable vites outside of, of, of California is uh, Carnitas Urapan, right? Mm -hmm. So they're known for their carnitas. Mm -hmm. Do, you know, uh, that, that's actually where I launched my world tour because it hit home. My dad grew up out there. And where are they from? Uh, they're, they're in Chicago. Okay, Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I went, you know, I went over there, like, we were showing love to the world, and, yeah. and you know, they just happened to receive us, and, you know, they, they took care of us. Uh, but they're known for their carnitas. They they just came out on Netflix uh, in, in one of the shows. Mm -hmm. um, but they served me a taquito dorado mm -hmm. de seso. I don't know what, what that means, brother. Brains. Oh, wow. man, I'm good. Wow. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, hey, let me wow. tell you, man. Me hey, let there. me tell No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't knock it until you try it. I'm not eating no brains, bro. I'm, no. <laughs> per, I'm not, not doing hey, that. Hey, no, because, okay, the brains. No, no, I'm giving it, but not eating it. Look, oh, bra my brains is like the, like, uh, the tuetano, like, texture, like, uh, bone marrow. I'm fucking okay. Weird. Right? So it's kind of like buttery. Yeah. So nope. you put that, you put that <laughs> in, like, in a, a deep, deep fry, deep fry. Doesn't sound no better. Taco. Mm -mm. Put some, uh, salsita roja. Nah, man. Oh, Hey, hey, boy went to Chicago and got some. Brain. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Boy, um, uh, the hood, hood Foodie Brother, last question, then we got to move on because we're looking at this clock over here. Um, what would you tell your younger self 10 years ago? Damn. Ooh. Damn. Good question. It is. Look at his face. He's like, yeah, Damn. Um, no, no. I'm, I'm thinking because, you know, I, I mean, we've we've come a long way. So it's. it's uh, <laughs> That's facts. Oh, man, like, you know, just just uh, be patient. You know, I, I know there was a lot of times in my younger years, you know, uh, where I, I doubted God and, and I was like, you know, why me? Why me? You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a good person, you know, but I, I grew up, you know, I grew up in a dark place. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because I speak my truth mm -hmm. and to me it's my norm. Right. 
But to people, they're like, God damn, this dude fucking, he's already, you know, exceeded his nine lives and he's still kicking. And look at the way he's kicking. Yeah. Right. Like, he ain't stopping. So, you know, just, you know, like I said, you know, never, never stop, you know, dreaming big uh, because you never know. Yeah. You know, be mm. careful. Be careful what you wish for. Because it can happen. Mm. Because we're out here, you know, on a mission for God. All right. Like mm. this is all God's plan. Like for it, it just it just like I said, I I don't even know like how everything's happening, but I've accepted it. Food is a platform, but well, my shit's a movement. Respect. Hey. I love it. The hood so, footy, we appreciate you, brother. It. You know us all love. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for those answers. And uh love you, brother. For love sure. you too, can I, appreciate I, you. Like I said, I love you all for like I said, you guys didn't have to give me this opportunity. Yeah. But you did. Love. And like I said, you know, I just want to grow. I, I, who's coming with me? Right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't want to do this alone. I want to make sure that, you know, like I, I told you, you know, like I'm that person that I'm going to put you out there. You know, if I see, you know, like if somebody needs an MC, like, oh, shit, my boy, boom. Like, right. mm-hmm. we are those people. Yeah. Right. We're, and now, now I believe in fucking superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely won, bro. For sure. For these mom and pop shops, you you are basically no, an Avenger, sure. one man Hell Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so hold on, Tony. Bef- before before we close out on food, I want to give y'all my four. Uh oh. Okay. I want I want to let y'all yeah. know about four spots y'all really need to go to. I don't know about these other people's spots. Stars I'm gonna like, tell y'all oh. where y'all really need to go. Uh, met her at a bar. <laughs> if you never I've if heard of that, I've heard met of her at a bar is the best brunch in all of LA. Not yeah. Oh damn! Best you chicken. ain't took me yet. This is what I'm talking about. Listen, Go ahead. Listen. We, we, we. Best chicken and waffles in all of LA. Met her at a bar. Mm. Absolutely not. Hands down. Met her at a bar. Met her at a bar, and across the street is met him at a bar. So uh, met her at a bar. Fire. Uh, salsa yeah. and beer. The oh. best Mexican food in all of LA. If you're from Texas, this is the Mexican place I you go to. I'm gonna take off cross station and put on salsa hey. and beer. Salsa and beer. You know what's salsa so funny, beer, though? Like, I didn't want I didn't want to say salsa and beer because I felt like, oh man, there's there's too much Mexican food. But no, salsa and beer go crazy. Oh no, it it, it, it hits hard. Steak dog. and shrimp for the thirteen dollars. Oh. Somebody Paquitas. gotta take me. What? Well, you haven't, you hey. haven't taken her to? No, I got hey, you. Hey, oh, R.I.P. to my dog Tim. My boy came into town one day. Some guy told me to go to Sauce and Beer. He put me on, changed my whole life. Sauce and Beer. That's sauce my, and beer is fire. That's my number two. You see how I'm coming? I'm telling no, you. No, these are great. This is, uh, you're, you're being listening. Being that Mexican food is one of my favorite oh, no. foods, gonna y'all gotta got take it. All right, that's crazy. What now, else you got? I'll take you. As far as desserts, as far as desserts, Uh-oh. afters. Never heard of it. Have you never heard of what afters? It's an ice cream got? spot. They do. They have like the donut with the ice cream sandwich. Uh, get the get the milky bun. Um, I normally get it with strawberry cookie crunch and cookie monster. So you got a pink ball of ice cream and a blue ball of ice cream and Star. that man fire. Come Star. on. So I guarantee you down. after whatever's not better than Paradise, I guarantee <laughs> listen, you. Listen, yeah, tell, I, tell, tell, you I go to Paradise all the time. Me there. I, I guarantee you. I, I go to Paradise all the time. I'm telling you, after this is way better. No. He has taken me there. So yes, I, I got to try the so, spot. So, so, no, so I, I, I actually have to agree with you. Thrifties two, two for five. Rocky Road. That's just old school, Ooh. like drifties. I don't want my ice cream to have a sale. That means it's been sick. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, no, executive no, producer say we got to wrap this up. So what's okay. the last I, I one? All right, all right, all right. All right. So I couldn't really think of a fourth, but I'm going to go with my old faithful, uh, Honey Kettle. I go there all the time. They open till eleven. It's just old faithful. Honorable mention: Grits and Waffles. Okay. Uh, it's a new, a uh, new one on the rise. If you haven't been Grits and Waffles, shots at Homie Journey. Hey, fire! Definitely good. I need Check all these there. spots. I need yeah. all these spots in my DM. Miles. Jones is begging the hood for, foodie for, for a vegan, vegan spot, spot, please. He, he need to eat. He's oh, like... Oh, vegan, uh, el compa vegano. Okay. In the San Fernando Valley. Okay. Like, well, I mean, there's... I mean, he he caters more to, you know, Mexican cuisine, but, I mean, he has, like, everything. He has the... the what is it? The Jack in the Box uh, vegan tacos, which I, I, people uh, argue that they're already vegan, but I don't know. I, I don't get into that topic, but... <laughs> Um, but no, there you el go. vegano, el compa vegano, oh, dude, and there's there's also another bakery. I'll Sugar taco that. is up there. Sugar, Sugar taco? taco is up there. It's vegan. What's best, the, name? the best taco I had, vegan or regular. 
Felicia, one of the best. Felicia from Friday. Come on, y'all, we gotta move the on. The chick Felicia from Friday. She yeah. has a food truck in Lamar Park, and her food is vegan. Great. Wow. Ah. She's there. She. I forget. I don't know what it's called, but it's the chick Felicia from the movie Friday. She has a vegan, <laughs> vegan truck in Lamar Park. I wouldn't know because I'm not vegan, but I do know that she has a truck. All right, y'all. For the quick fix, I'm gonna just talk about Coachella right we, quick. We, could, we are running behind. We could probably just skip the quick fix for the day. We ain't really we got nothing. It. We ain't got nothing too crazy on the cool. quick fix. So no, we're going Coachella to Coachella uh, is booming, but you you know we, we can. I would say Blink-182. We're going to talk. Right because cause really they got quick. another weekend for Coachella. Okay, perfect. So we can talk about next both week. weeks next weekend. It's time for one of our other favorite segments. Back by popular demand. Uh-oh. <laughs> My brother, Ariel. <laughs> He's back. My brother, Ariel. That boy's back. I need that sound bite. My brother, Ariel. Because that was a horrific scream. Yeah, that's murder scene. Movie ready. Mm. No, we can do it. We can. Okay. I don't know. I mean, if, if we do, you know, you so know for, I'm going to take. For those who don't know, Ariel Valentine. is a um, fave of ours. Yeah, and he's back. Um, limited edition out with special requests. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> he said limited edition. He but, is. Uh, he's a special edition. We love the games. Y'all love the games. Star, we cut the quick fix out. We're going to talk about Coachella next week. We might cut relationships. We're trying to keep it short for your brother. We don't want to have a two-hour show. To okay. Martin Lawrence, Hollywood Walk of Fame. Can't to skip him. I'm sorry. He's a vet. He's a He's a... Yeah, we can't skip Mark Lawrence. Get in the Walk of Fame. I'm sorry, that's huge. While they're setting up, um, Maj, you need to go to Sugar Taco. It's fire. It's fire. Now, um, where does the name hello. Sugar Taco come from, though? Sounds a little. Sweet. I don't know. Maybe sweet. That's but they had a they had a uh, churro waffle. Oh, <laughs> that's why. So it is it's desserts in the taco. Wait, churro mm-hmm. waffle. Churro waffle went yes, crazy. That sounds wild. With cajeta or caramel? I love sweets, so I'm for it. <laughs> I don't know, brother, but it was great. Okay, Aaron, let's go, Ariel Valentine. All right, guys. Uh, so similar to Hood Jeopardy, um, today we're gonna play a game called Lyrically Correct. <laughs> Ooh. So do we need to write anything? You just your score. Oh. So how this works is these uh, these are things from the 90s and the 2000s, and you just finish the phrase. If you cut me off, I will not read the rest. You have to answer it. All right, here we go. First one. What does Rick... Yes. Every day I'm hustling. That's oh! actually correct. Oh! What the oh! Hell? Oh! Hey, yo! <laughs> right, just quick. What's the score? You're one. Just hey, one. yo! Oh All right, here we you go. just said, what does... R- Hey, yo. That boy knew it. What What did Biggie tell you to do after? Who was that? Who? Who? What did he tell you? <laughs> Let's finish the question. <laughs> what What did Biggie tell you to do after you throw your rollie in the sky? Throw your rollie in the sky and wave him side to side. That's it. Ooh, I'm getting off on y'all today. I'm not getting off. I'm getting off on y'all today. Like, I don't even remember yesterday. That's not what I'm saying. I'm like, what? <laughs> right. I'm drunk. All right, here we go. If you really want to party with Busta Rhymes. Put your hands where my eyes can see. Great. That was great. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Yeah. 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 If you really want to party with Busta Rhymes, what must he see? Put your hands where my eyes can see. No. You no, said what I said just that. said. <laughs> no, that's what he said. If you really want, if you really put your hands Again, where your eyes can see. If you really want to party with Busta Rhymes, what must he see? Let me see you come and dance with me. Wrong. Damn. That's right. <laughs> what? He don't know it. Can <laughs> <laughs> well, we get the answer? The answer is what you got for him. What you got for what him? What you got for me? Oh. If you really want to dance with Ready? me. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Who? Who? Who let the dogs out? Let the dogs out. Wrong. Good. Who? What? Oh, I never put Mike you. Jones. That's it. Yeah, um, uh, hey, yeah, look, Texas in here. Everybody My watching, job. what's up? Mad fail for me. I'm from Texas, and I go <laughs> mad fail for me, man. Yeah. man that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, let me put my grill in. I'm that was weak. good. I'm, I'm mad I missed that. And, I'm drunk. And Shoop, what was? There it is. Bro, what? Not whoop, brother. <laughs> oh, I thought you said whoop. <laughs> and Shoop, what was Peppa's weakness? Yes. Uh, no. Damn. Yes, I know it. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I'm so You got to wait. You got to wait. I don't know. Man. That's it. <laughs> What's my weakness, yeah. man? Okay, then. Chilling. Chilling. What's my and my business? Shot. That's crazy. That's y'all. crazy. I knew it after I lost it. it. No, All right. Nothing. Here we shout, go. Exactly. Shout out to my dog, La, who, who worked with Salt and Here we go. Where can you find 50 Cent? 
That's it. I've never lost as much. Dang. Dang. Not this much. That's Here we go. What does Snoop and Pharrell... That's wrong. <laughs> yeah. what, what do they what? What does Snoop and Pharrell want their girl to know? Damn. Oh, I know it. No, no. Of course not. <laughs> beautiful. That she beautiful. I'll take that. You're my favorite girl. Oh, I was about to say you're my favorite girl. Yeah. yeah. That was fair. Yeah. What's yeah. Fair? Two. Two. Good. <laughs> which, <clears throat> which side does Snoop hang his blue flag? No, I know that this is me. I know, I know, I know. You know I know. You know I know. You know I know. You know I know. Only on the left side. That's the left side only. Come on now. You know that. Know that shit. Look at my motherfucking hair. Come back season. Fuck y'all. Come back season. I'm too drunk for this. Come back season. What couldn't Missy stand? Ah, damn it, damn it. Yes. I can't stand the rain. That's it. That's it. Through my window. I ain't think I can't think of nothing. All right. And And I'm still drinking. Fuck y'all. And it's all about the Benjamins. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Get him out of here. Baby. Yeah, get her out of here. It's my turn. And it's all about the Benjamins. What was Diddy's three course meal? Three, uh, 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 five course. Oh, oh, sorry. Wait, he hit it. Oh, no, I don't know. Spaghetti, oh. fettuccine, and veal. <laughs> what? Yeah, I wouldn't know that one. How did DMX know she was a thug? I love this this version. I just wish I wasn't Dang. dead. It was Brenda, Tony, the Keisha, Nita. How did D, how did DMX know she was a thug? I just want to know. I don't know. RIP DMX. The answer was because when he met her, she had a scarf on. Oh, my God. (laughs) Who does Jada got beef with? Did I get that one? Yeah. Jada Kiss? Jada Pinky? Jada Kiss. Oh, Jada Kiss got beef with? Oh. I was thinking. uh, (laughs) Now? I don't know. 50 No. It's a lyric. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't know that. I don't know New York. The feds and the DA. Uh, What could little Kim make disappear in her mouth? Oh, my God. (laughs) No, no. A Sprite can. She can make a Sprite can disappear in the mouth. Yes. (laughs) What? I'm I'm mad that's my only point. (laughs) What did Kanye drink for breakfast? Ooh. And sure. No. That's no, that's not it. I drink a booze for breakfast oh, and insure for dessert. Somebody damn. order pancakes. I, I just sipped the scissor. Tip that right I there can drive, drive the same man, man dessert. Not to worry. H to the is was back to wizard. Yeah. Damn, it was a boost and the insure was dessert. Yeah. Fuck. You I still knew it. it. Yeah. Shout I'm going to give myself foodie. half a point. Got me fucked up. All right, here we go. How did Carl Thomas know it? She don't know. I, I was pre, it was pre-pushed. I'm sorry. I lost that one. How did Carl Thomas know it was love at first sight? It y'all, was y'all love at first sight <laughs> when I met her. And she is she got love for <laughs> me. Yeah. No, no, That's the song. Yeah, but that ain't the lyric. No. That, don't know. What? That was it. <laughs> They out here. See how they, they out here working together, colluding so, together. Not them? colluding. Nope. Nope. Colluding. Well, well, I can't. I can't, like I said, I, I'm super bad. From at the way she <laughs> looked at me. Yeah, That's what I said. The way she looked at me. Just said no. He don't even know the song. Nope. Trey songs doesn't want to leave, but what does he got to do? But he gotta go right now. Aww. I'll be, be back, back before, before you know it. I don't wanna leave. Yeah, I got I that one. According to Alicia Keys, some people live for fortune. Fuck! Some no, people I lost. live I lost. for fortune. 
don't know. Some people live just to play the game. No, that wasn't the next Some line, though. Some people no, live. That's what they, he didn't let me finish reading. Oh, you're going too hard. I got that game at home, too. That's go. wild. Here we go. All right. Uh, what was the name of the girl that D'Angelo met in Philly? Damn. I Damn, forgot. D'Angelo. Damn. Any food questions? Damn. Boy, I said. No, I have to take my guess, brother. Brown sugar. Brown oh, sugar, wow. baby. Got a few more. What did Destiny's Child ask you to pay? Bills, bills, bills. That's it. Cap. Can't pay my that was the original bills. City Girls. Nobody want to talk about it though. I'm what weak. What did Erica Badu say to the brothers? No. Nope. 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 <laughs> what did Erica Badu say to the brothers after greeting the sisters? What? Yeah, I don't know that one. <laughs> Y'all all right? What does Pretty Ricky say? Step three is before she grinds on them. Step one. If I so slow, said to him to this fine boy, me to three. Damn, I can't. And listen to this blue star beat. beat. Ah, nope. That is I it. No. <laughs> I, I want to sex you till you fall faster. <laughs> what is it, Ariel? I'm licking off the whipped cream. Oh, oh I got I whipped cream at the house. I didn't know that was in the song. All right, I'll do, I'll do. What's the scores? Well, he's about one on these. So I got, got six. Four. You got six? Yes, sir. Oh, I, mean, I got, got three. I got four. All right, so I'll do five more. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> what? In bed, Jay Holiday wants you to change. The sheets, the motion, the speed, the shit. In Jay Holiday's bed, and sorry, in bed, Jay Holiday wants you to change into that thing that he Damn, likes. Damn! I know it. Is it lingerie? Nope. Oh, hold on. Yeah. It, Can no, I, I get another chance? No, no, no. Here you go. Yeah. What is it, Tony? You know? If they don't get it, can I get another chance? No, you're out of there. Come down. Under, get it, under the down. sheets? No, can I get it if I got another <laughs> chance? No, no, no. I got oh, we're it. Done. We're done. But you, we're done, but you can't. You didn't it. copy down. He wants you to change into that Victoria secret thing that I like. Dang. All right. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh. Yeah, no, and, peaches, and peaches and cream, what body part did Slim want all over you? Again. Legs. Uh, no. <laughs> and peaches and cream, what body part does Slim want to put all over you? Fuck. Was it chest? Nope. Oh, damn. Still got the Lips? Yes. Yeah. Oh, damn. Peaches and all right, we got two more. All right. What does Neo got to change now that he's alone? <laughs> Who is Neo? Neo. Neo I'm not messing with you. <laughs> I'm thinking answer about the machine. Matrix. Answering machine. <laughs> yes. Gotta, answer. Gotta, gotta I couldn't think. Gotta, gotta change, change my answer machine. No, you got five. I got. I beat you got, him. You got six. Really got I got six. I got five. And you got what? Five, six. So this is the last one for yeah. you to tie. Yeah. Think one more at the time. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. All right. So basically, this is between Vu and Key. Yeah. Fuck. What was Mary J. Blige searching for? A real love. That's it. That's Cal. Yeah. Not. I just came back. Tiebreaker. Let me shut this down. Come on, Key. I got this. What did escape need from you? Oh. Love and affection. No. Dang. Can you re finish the question? What did escape need from you? Damn. What I need from you is some attention. Is attention? No. Understanding. Understanding. Oh. oh. Understanding. Back another tiebreaker. Excuse me. <laughs> I thought I, I, it rhymed. I was off. A Ready? Bit. Yeah. <laughs> Where was Brandy sitting when she? Oh, she won. Sitting in my, in my room. room. That's it. She won. Oh, oh, I think about you. you. Crazy. I must confess. I must she sitting close. She sitting you. close to the area so she can hear faster. She sitting close to the area so she can hear faster than I can hear. He was cheating. It's all good. Yeah, anyway. How much we missed that, uh, brother, so thank uh, you for doing that. Uh, well, since uh, we got a few uh, minutes left, can we just... Look to come back, gang. Can we yeah. just go straight to sports? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, so y'all want to skip my segment because yeah. I won? That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So guess what? I still got the dub. Mm-hmm. Anyway. One person you didn't beat was me. <laughs> uh, thank y'all for playing. That was fun. Uh, Competition, man. So there's a lot of competition coming up this weekend. Sure was, and I won. One of, one of the big fights... Uh, Tank versus Ryan Garcia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vegas, T-Mobile Arena is going down. This weekend. Um, I- I'm going to just stop right there because I can go on and on about it. Yeah. 
Uh, Hood Foodie, who you got winning that fight? Talk about uh, it. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so disconnected to the world. Okay. But I, I, I've been hearing that this kid Tank, he's, you know, he's gonna, he's pretty good. So I, yeah. I have a feeling. I, I don't know. Like he might take it. Okay. Ryan Garcia yeah. by decision. You think Ryan Garcia by decision? All right, boo. What you got? I just want the drinks and the food. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm with her too. Tank six, <laughs> tank six <laughs> round knockout. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be tank. The odds. I, even, I don't need to. I don't need to check the odds. Tank six round knockout. Ryan six rounds. Yeah. Why, Why do you? Ryan, Ryan got hands for real. For he don't, bro. He ain't got it. He ain't. Full, he ain't complete fighter. Right, he ain't fought nobody. It's who. All right. Anyway, yeah, I'm moving trying, on. I'm trying to bet on that. NBA playoffs. Yeah, I'm. Playoffs. I'm gonna read y'all some of the updates. LA is up one. Kings are up one. Clippers up one. 76ers are actually up two now because they won today. The Heat is up one. Nuggets are up one. Celtics as well as the Knicks are up one. So those are some of the winners right now in the playoffs. Um, you know, we diehard Lakers fans over here, so I you already know. I was the Hood Foodie was he a Lakers fan. Are, are you, bro? Or are you with the Clippers? I mean, you know, what, what, what sets you claim? I, I, I right. Friends, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in L.A. I mean, I do. I mean, out of all the teams, I do rep like the Lakers the Where most. Where are you from? Uh, I was uh, born in Lake Viteras, okay. but I was raised in uh, Mexico, León, Guanajuato. Okay. okay. And then, well, for, for my earlier years, and then I came back, well, born in 79, came back in 89, so that's why, like, my, my culture is kind of like all, yeah. right, all over it. the place. But, uh, but no, no, I mean, one of the questions, what, what I was going to ask is, does uh, Anthony Davis stay healthy? Oh, and man. Do we, and, and is that going to determine... So. Determine if we get to the championship. Yeah. I'll answer that for you, brother. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what LeBron is giving AD, but he's been getting hurt and just bouncing back. Like bad injuries. Them that, shots. That we usually take him out. So everyone says LeBron has this advanced medicine or whatever. But <laughs> I'm weak. AD, get hurt, come right back. On a serious note, I always said if the Lakers were healthy, we could beat anybody in the yeah, league. Yeah, true. Um, we were going to beat the Grizzlies, I believe, with John Moran he- healthy. Unfortunately, he got hurt last yeah. game, and he might be out, it looks like. Right. Uh, but we are going to beat them, I thought, anyway, uh, because us healthy, no one can really see us like that. Not at all. Um, interesting series. Uh, we're up 1-0, like you said, against yeah. Memphis. Uh, the Clippers beat the Suns without PG. With right. Healthy Suns roster, and I was very shocked to see right. that. If they can get by the Suns and then PG comes back, they're going to be a problem. Giannis got injured as well, and it looks bad. Yeah. Uh, and that's sad for them. If, he, if he's out, I got... Uh, Philly coming out of the East. Okay. And, um, yeah, I think it's a, uh, you know, the Kings. Well, one game, one. I have the I have the King beating the Warriors. Well, I didn't think the Kings had a chance until I watched the game. The Aaron Fox is for real. Yeah. Malik Monk is for real. Right. Bonus is for real. And they're actually up right now against the Warriors again, 58 to 52 in the third quarter. But do you know who their coach is? Mike Brown. Yeah, and Mike Brown was the coach for the Warriors. For sure, so he knows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's why I have the Kings winning because I'm like, he gonna know what what, what they gonna do over there. I think it's a big deal because you know the, for the Kings to take the Warriors, the defending champs, and mm-hmm. they got five rings, four the, rings. Now. Yeah, four rings. Um, it's a big deal. It's kind of the younger guys kind of taking over. Yeah. Um, I think people thought Memphis would beat us as well. Yeah. And uh, it's just not not the case. So. This is the first time the Kings have been in the playoffs since 2006. Mm. Yeah. So, shout out to the battle. Is Sacramento the Bay? Is, is that considered the Bay? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's like yeah. Battle of the Bay. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's pretty cool. Great series. Um, um, who's your pick for MVP right quick? For MVP? I'm going with MB, man. MVP, dog. Man. He's a dog. Mm. Um, <clears throat> question for you. Yeah. Uh, does, does the Pelicans need to trade Zion? Yes or no? Ooh, good question. Um, I would uh, say yes because I actually have these numbers and um, I believe Zion's played a combined. 117 17 games for four years. Mm-hmm. You're looking at Embiid and B did like 20 something. Yeah. Um and B the process worked. He's yeah. MVP this year. Um but I would I would package Zion and trade him because that's four years now that he's just not available. Damn. And I, it's not looking like he's going to be healthy. Right. Um you know, and B played 100 more games. You remember how much Embiid missed his first four first yeah. four seasons. So, um I would trade Zion. Yeah. Okay. Uh I didn't know Patrick Mahomes went to, went to I did, but Patrick Mahomes put still tipping on his page, and I was hey. super excited. But he's from Texas. Yeah, he's from Texas. I remember hey. I hit you. Like, I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah. Sorry, I, I know that's bad, but I did not know Patrick Mahomes was from Texas, which is, makes me a bigger fan of him. Speaking of people from Texas, Jalen Hurts. Uh, Jalen Hurts uh, got a contract extension today, making him the highest paid player ever yeah. in the league. That so, was negotiated by a black woman. Two hundred and fifty-five million dollar contract. Uh, one hundred seventy-nine million of that is guaranteed. guaranteed. So, yeah, what does that say about Lamar Jackson? Is Lamar Jackson gonna get him a big deal now, I don't or think what? Lamar gets that. 
Um, but I also think that sets the market up for Burrow and Allen to get more. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's a big deal. If I wasn't a Cowboys fan, you know, I mean, aside from that, it's good to see a black man get mm. guaranteed yeah. money. Right. Black quarterback. Right. That franchise believes in him, but it's still F the Eagles. So. <laughs> I got so, a Texas surprise for you coming soon. So, so uh, real quick for Hood Foodie, um, as far as sports, what what are some of your teams with sports? Football, basketball, baseball, soccer. Any. Sport. I mean, I mean, what I've really always kind of grew up with is soccer. So you know, okay. uh, Panza Verde, which is a, it's a Mexican you know league, uh, uh, and and from my 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 city. Mm-hmm. Um, and then other than that, like I said, you know, I'm I'm a part of the Steeler Familia. Are oh, you really? Yes. yes. What do you, what do you mean, really? <laughs> no, I only oh, share food. <laughs> Excuse me, not too much. I we share been. food and Steelers. I <laughs> Steeler. I, I'm confused. <laughs> well, you know, we always have Fuck room y'all. over here at the Dolphins. So <laughs> if you need to come join I'm the weak. Dolphins. We? I'm recruiting. I'm, I'm recruiting for the Dolphins. I'm weak. Uh, we also recruited your coach, too. Yeah, listen. So <laughs> I, I was a Rams fan. Um, I never seen someone we mutu- bandwagon we, be proud we of mutually, <laughs> We mutually separated. But I got a ring, got the deal. We mutually separated. Bye. So I took my talents to South Beach. So I'm with Miami this season, my first season. We're on a one-year deal. We're going to see how it goes. Not my first season. Uh, That's wild. But it's my first season with Miami. So we, we taking all the bandwagon <laughs> fans that we can right now. That my boy, and my, my, the commissioner of our uh, NFL Fantasy League is yeah. a big-time now Dolphins fan. Okay. And okay. I said that too when you said that. He was yeah. like, get this bozo out of here, bro. Um, I they made me pick a hockey team. Yeah, they love hockey. They's like pick a team. It was between the Dallas Stars, Stars um, are good. L.A. Kings mm-hmm. and Anaheim Ducks, mm-hmm. and I chose the Anaheim Ducks. Nostalgia. Wow. Because it's nostalgic. <laughs> and it's is it a movie? Ducks. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to they, wrap y'all up. They have the jerseys at, at Adidas. They have all of the Mighty Ducks jerseys. Fire. Yeah, I'm, that's why I'm a fan of them. I hate, to, I hate to wrap y'all up. Go ahead. Oh, take us home. Close but us I'm out. not closing us out, but I do want to I want to end with this. You can close us. Okay. Close I have one, so you can close us out. Um, okay. Um, I hate to close on a dark note, but I definitely want to give some attention and, and recognition to the seniors that – lost their lives the night of prom oh wow that's a deep way to go out but i definitely wanted to speak on that because that is so unfortunate um one of the biggest nights of a child's like high school memories or just Mm -hmm. childhood period your memories like that's a big night Mm -hmm. and to lose your life like even as a parent like for your child to lose their life the night of prom like that's that's like traumatic as fuck um I don't know who all, but there was a few. Shout out to my oldest daughter who um, did shine light on it for me. Mm-hmm. I just want to give a few shout outs and condolences from the Fix LA to the family. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to shout out Charity Dunbar. She lost her life as well. Um, we have uh, Madison and Samuel. They were a couple. They lost their lives from an ac- car accident the night of prom. Um, Kiki Nicole Smith and Phil... Um, Dow Dale, um, and I said Madison and, and Samuel. Yeah, that is just that's tragic as fuck. Yeah, um, yeah that that's life, man. And, and I, I want to say we've had we had a couple other incidents too happen over the weekend. Uh, there were the kids in Alabama. I don't know if it's the same situation, but there were three kids in Alabama that died from like the shooting or something like that. That's uh, what I'm saying. And these then kids. Uh, it was one more. It was a guy. Uh, what was that? Ralph fire. Ralph Yarrow. Ralph yes, Yarrow, the, yes. the black kid who uh, went to pick up his siblings, went to the wrong house, yeah. got shot. So with just, all with all this everything going on, man, you it's know, it's just unfortunate for a, a child. Correct. Um, it's one thing to lose your life as an elder; you mm-hmm. live a full life. You know, maybe it's your time, but to lose your life prom night right. or just young at all, like that's just so unfortunate. That's like life was stole. <clears throat> um, and I definitely just wanted to shine light on that. And you know, and send our condolences because that that's that's so unfortunate. That has to be a parent's nightmare. Mm-hmm. Um, they were all very gorgeous, beautiful. Um, that's just really sad. So I really just want to say, um, for anybody with prom still coming up, whether it's this year or years to come, just be careful. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're driving, like don't try to show off and want to be racing, or mm-hmm. you know, just be careful out there. Pay attention to your surroundings. Um, and just make good choices. Who's to say who's at fault? I don't know all the stories behind them passing, but that mm-hmm. is just, it's unfortunate regardless of the reason and what happened. Um, and some people used to always say, it's not you sometimes, it's them. Yeah. You know, so like, what? it doesn't matter if you do everything right. It, 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 
something can happen is somebody else yeah, or the situation the or the environment. It's sometimes the environment. Uh, one thing I would say to, the, to put a close on everything, be grateful for every day. You know, you can walk, talk, um, see, hear, because there's some people that don't have those abilities, man. Yeah. You know, who's to say one day you wake up and something doesn't work the same, yeah. you know, or, or you can't look at things the same. So yeah. uh, just be grateful every day. Uh, and take care of yourself, right. please. Right. Please take care of yourself. You know, we always got to remember that, you know, this, this, uh, this life is just borrowed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this, you know, so yeah, that that's why you got to appreciate every second, every mm-hmm. moment, the present, you know, like just that, man, because you just, you just never know. So, Tony, yeah. uh, you can, you can take us out, man. No, that was that was that was it. De- definitely, uh, you know, the, shout out to the hood foodie. Thank you, brother. For sure. uh, thank we you got, so much, bro. We got some dates coming up. It's like <laughs> I'm about to be outside. You guys are welcome to. Tour. You guys are welcome to roll with the hood foodie anytime you guys want. Thank you, thank you for pulling up. Yeah. Yes, sir, no, no, like you, I said, thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. Sh- shout out your social so everybody know where to follow you. They've never heard of you before. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, basically every. Social media platform, you can find me uh, as a hood foodie. Um, and you guys know what's up. Make sure you guys come out support. Hey. Tell them that the hood foodie sent you. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. This is a fix. Hey. Yes, sir. All right, man. We're going to take a picture and we straight. Don't move just yet. We're going to take a picture.